What is up everyone? My name is Tony and welcome back to my channel where I react to K-pop. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps me out. You can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. Links are down in the description. I always follow back. And yeah, other than that, we are back with some monday reactions um like i said i really wanted to get into one us um only content that i really know of one us is their um what song was it their song with one we called stay um so i did react to that on like a one we reaction day so i'll link it if you guys are interested in checking it out um i don't know the members very well i only know shion because of dong myung's because he's dong myung's brother and lido because he like really stood out to me and i asked i asked like who he was and you guys told me so I know him now but I'm not familiar with the other members still like just yet but I still wanted to spend a day like listening to one us's music so I have like a couple suggestions that I received um as well as a couple songs that I just like picked out on my own so I have a song written easily um that was recommended to me as well as no diggity that was recommended to me um and then I thought I would get into like some more like newer stuff so I have same scent and then I have erase me um there's no lyrics for erase me though so I do have a lyric video um, so I can go through the lyrics. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Um, I, like, have really wanted to get into One Us. The only song of theirs that I know and listen to a lot is their song called Luna. I do know that song. I, like, I found it on a playlist that I was listening to and it really stuck out to me, so I saved it. Um, so it's a song that I listen to quite a bit, but other than that, like, that's literally, like, the only song by One Us that I know, so I'm excited to get into this. Um, let's get into a song written easily. I'm just gonna keep caption up and I'm gonna, captions up and I'm gonna try my best to follow along with the music video as well as reading the lyrics. Sometimes that doesn't work out for me well though, so I'm, I apologize if I have to like go back. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to like keep like a one us members open so I can like attempt, <laughs> so I can like attempt to figure out who's who. I know, so I know Raven isn't a part of the group anymore, but I'm not positive when exactly he left like I remember hearing about him leaving the group and the controversy around it but I really don't know any details or anything like that um I feel like it was last year sometime that that happened but I am not like super positive <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry I'm not like super positive on that timeline so I don't know like which music he's gonna be in versus which music he's not so okay let's get into it a song written easily
That is the best. Yes, I love when they have like who's singing what. Now I can see like who is who. Okay, so this is Juan, Juan Wong, Juan Wong. If I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly, please tell me. Okay, <laughs> that makes that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> I can see I can see what you guys mean about Kanhi. I think that was the one that you guys said uh is a lot more like Dongmyong than Xian even is. I honestly I can see it. I can see it for sure. Um they even kind of sound a bit similar, but I think like they I think they definitely have this whole like triplet thing happening it's really interesting i'm obsessed with lido already i'm telling you I didn't know Shion did like a bit of rapping. I can like see what you guys mean like they all seem very like multi-talented like Xion was singing and then he like did like a little bit of rapping and then even Raven was rapping and then he went into a bit of singing so I can see what you mean Okay, now I can listen to Lido sing. That's just that's just wild to me. Like his rapping with his deep ass voice and now like singing like this. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> the difference is like wild. Sorry, I have to go back just to appreciate. That's crazy. I'm obsessed. I think Raven has an interesting uh, rap tone as well. Who 
who's doing the ad libs? Like, who's doing the hoo hoo? Like, is it Soho? Is or is it um? Uh, who's the other one that's singing? Conhe. Cause I love ad libs like that. I think it's Conhe, but I'm not sure. I like the song. The song is very catchy for sure. So I think you guys told me last time that Soho and this is like all the information that you guys gave me in my One We One Us like combo video um i'm pretty sure you guys told me that soho and Kanhi are like the main singers in one us if i remember correctly i can definitely see why um their voices definitely like stand out stand out to me i'm just uh, i'm just a uh, like the moment i saw leto i was a goner like <laughs> His singing is also very, very beautiful. I like the song a lot. Um, I just, I like how it's kind of talking about, like, how easy it is to write a song whenever you're so inspired by someone. Um, I think, I think inspiration is such an interesting thing, right? Like, I don't know, like, this past, this past week... I've had no inspiration. Like, it's made me, like, not want to focus on anything. Like, I went from doing this to this to this because I just couldn't focus, like, on one task, which is very rare for me. Usually whenever, usually whenever I'm working, like, I want to complete a task before I move on to the next thing. And I was not like that this week at all. So it's just, it's really interesting how, like, how inspiration strikes, when it strikes, why it strikes, like, you know what I mean? I like this song a lot, though, it was really, I also am a sucker for, like, I'm a sucker for, like, whistles or, like, snaps in songs. I don't know why, it's, it's just something that I personally find enjoyment in. <laughs> it's so random, but it's true. Okay, let's move on to No Diggity. I'm really interested to see what the song is about because the only no diggity song I know is NCT song. So I'm curious to know, like, I'm curious to know what vibe One Us went for with no diggity. Let's get it. Okay, they definitely seem to have went for a very, like, possessive slash obsessive slash overly confident. There's a different word that I want to use besides overly confident, though, and I can't, I can't think of it. Uh, I, I can't think of it, but I th you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Can I just say, I love this long hair era on Xion. <clears throat> Bro. 
He looks so good with long hair. Like, for real. Like, looks really good. Oh, I'm obsessed with the song already. I'm obsessed. Seriously, I'm obsessed with Shihan with this long hair. He looks so good. The song is definitely more like my vibe for sure. Yeah, the song is definitely like my type of song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely got like, I definitely get like possessive type of vibe from the song, but also a big like throwing it in your face kind of like uh like like you had like such an amazing person in your hands and you let go and now that person's mine so haha -ha. like you know what i mean very interesting i i yeah i like the song a lot i i also like i also find it interesting like all of the different things that they used in the music video, like, the fire, like, like, the mask that Xion was wearing. It definitely gave me a bit of, like, <laughs> dominant, like, S&M kind of vibes, <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's what they were going for or not, but I think that goes in... I think that kind of ties into the possessive aspect of the song, you know what I mean? So, maybe that is what they were going for, I don't really know. So, like, how... The fandom name, is it Two Moons? Two Moons. Or is it Toe Moons? I always thought it was Two Moons. But, correct me if I'm, like, tell me if I'm wrong. Like, is it, like, Two Moons? Or is it Toe Moons? Someone in the comments gave, like, a full, like, rundown of each member. I did not know that One Us was in a survival show. That is very interesting. Oh, okay. I've heard Valkyrie is really, really good, and that's their debut song. I definitely have to get to that next time. Okay. 
for sure. I like that song a lot and I feel like that's going to be a song that I'm going to be jamming to quite a lot, so. Okay, let's move on to Same Scent. I'm curious to know what this is going to be about. When I think of, like, Same Scent, it kind of, like, reminds me of, like, you know, like, how you, it, when you become, like, so close to a person or, like, you live together for a while that you start like smelling the same. I'm wondering if it has to do with that, but I'm genuinely curious. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh. Is this Conhee? This is Conhee, right? I'm gonna try my best to remember who's who. Okay, so it was more about a breakup and losing the scent versus living together and having the same scent. <laughs> Interesting. I like, I really, I'm really going to try my best <laughs> to figure out who's who. It might take me a hot second, but I will, I will get there. I promise. Um, I should just subscribe to their channel, honestly. Um... I definitely, I definitely think, uh, I definitely think Raven has a very interesting rappy toe, like, it sticks out to me a lot, but it, Leto and his deep voice, I'm like, shook every time I hear him. Soho and Kanhi, they're vocals are also very very like are also very impressive and stick out to me 
I think, I think for the most part, like, I think for the most part, like, their music is very catchy and like, I knew, I knew I would probably like them and that's why I've like been wanting to get into One Us for so long, but my capacity for alt groups is like <laughs> capped out. I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't keep up with all of these groups. Oh my god, the issues of a multi-stan. Um, but yeah. Okay, let's get into the last song, Erase Me. Which again doesn't have lyrics, so I'm gonna watch the lyric video after the music video. This just came out in April. <laughs> Erase me now. I'm obsessed and now that he has long hair I'm even more obsessed now His long hair bro Oh Erase me now. <laughs> I like, I like uh, that they have like a bit of like an EDM beat in the song, which I like, I know like EDM isn't for everyone. It's not, it's not a genre that a lot of people listen to, but I actually kind of like it. So I'm like here for like that EDM beat that's happening in the song. <laughs> Also, their dance, their dancing too is really sticking out to me for the song. I don't know why, but I really like this choreo a lot, actually. And if you guys don't know, I used to dance like a long time ago, but it used to be like a really fun hobby of mine that I used to really enjoy. Like I would create my own choreo and stuff like that. I went, I would go to a dance studio, but, um... So dancing is like something that I usually focus on a lot when I listen to music or like watch choreo, but I don't know, like this choreo in particular is like really... I like it a lot. I told you, snaps! I love snaps! <laughs> Me. 
I don't know, like I just, I feel like I like this choreo because to me it's very like, it to me like I feel like in their choreo they're just saying like I want to be done, like I want to be over this, like I want to move on, like it's kind of aggressive but also like, I don't know if that makes sense but that's what their choreo says to me, like very much like. It's very powerful. It's very powerful choreo, I think. But, yeah, I don't know. I just, like, I get the vibe, like, like, erase me, right? Like, I just, erase me from your life. Like, I'm done with you. Like, bye. Like, you know what I mean? Like, very, like, maybe a bit angsty, angry. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the vibe that I get from their choreo. <laughs> I really enjoyed that choreo a lot. Lido has me dying <laughs> with his hair. Oh my god, okay, anyway. I need to move on. Um, let's get into the lyrics because I'm very, very curious. <laughs> Because of you, you. Yeah. I'm just shook. Like, Lido, how do you sound like? How do you sound like a monster one second and then you sound like beautiful the next second? I'm just like, I'm shook. I think the choreo told me exactly what it needed to, like, very much, like, I'm over this relationship, I'm done, like, very, very, like, frustrated and angry and just, like, like I said, like, over it, you know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like the choreo, like, was perfect and I, 
I get why I liked it so much. I definitely think, I definitely think Erase Me and No Diggity are my favorite, but that's just like my personal taste in music. I, I love more like, I love more like a, a beat or aggressive or like, you know what I mean? Kind of music. So makes sense as to why, but like all the songs I really like sincerely enjoyed. And like I said, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to, especially Juan, Juan Wung. I definitely need to, like, get his face down. And so, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna remember them for sure, I promise. Okay, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this Monday reaction. I definitely will get to more One Us in the future. Um, I don't know how quickly I'll get to more One Us, but I definitely, definitely want to get to more of their music in the future. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves, and have a good day. Bye, guys. That's a bunching but you don't get your maniac. Maniac, Frank and Stone, Chorum, or a maniac. Maniac, that's a bunch of maniac. Nobody